Hey guys, this is Scooter here at Macintosh Tips. Today I'm going to show you a handy little tutorial uh, on this application called One Password. All right, it's a very cool application. It helps you remember all your passwords and login and usernames. Uh, so for you who forget, this tutorial is for you. All right, guys. So once you get on One uh, One Password, your screen will look like this. Once you first open up the uh, the application for the first very first time. Now remember, all links will be in the description box on that side. But once you first open it up, it'll say, "Would you like to install in your browser?" You're gonna want to ahead and click yes. All right, go ahead and install the plugin uh, for your browser. All right, and once you get it on, uh, it'll ask you for a master login. All right, so go ahead and type in your master login, and then you'll be set. So I'm gonna type in my master password and hit unlock. All right, so what this screen pops up. All right, and pretty much what it shows you, it shows you. Uh, you won't have any passwords here just yet. I'll show you how to make your own password. Now, before you do that, you'll have on this side, you have logins, all right, which is pretty much the logins for all the websites you want. So currently, I have my Facebook and YouTube for Macintosh Tips, just to, for, just to show you guys. It shows you the, uh, the password strength, all right, and then it shows you when you did it, all right, when you changed it, all right, and I'll show you how to edit this in a bit. You also have wallet. Now, this is actually pretty cool, all right. This is if you want to add a wallet item, you're going to go up here to the top and hit wallet. Now, here's what you're going to do. It t you can do your credit card. So, I have a credit card. I'm going to hit add, and I can type in my credit card's name, the number, everything like that. So, if I need it, I have it. This is very, very cool. Uh, so you can do it for your wallet. You can do it uh, for credit card statements, for your membership information, um, to online services uh, such as your email account, mobile me, iTunes, your ISP address, uh, your passport, your driver's license, your social security number, uh, your hunting license, um, and even like your software license, airport, things like this. This is all like wallet, wallet items that you keep in your wallet, but you might not have your wallet, but it's on your computer with one password. Now, uh, secure notes will be like notes like uh, if you want to add a note about your password saying it's the password for everything I use, then that's a note. Kind of like a reminder. All right, you have identities, all right, which is pretty much just the identification of. Uh, of you, pretty much your identity. So if somebody gets on your computer, needs to find out something about you, um, and they know your password to my password, they'll have all your info. Or if you need all your info, then you got it right here. Now notice when you when you're done with this, like if this is old information, you can move it to the trash, and the trash will be right here. And you can fish out everything. So move it to trash and trash. Pretty cool. All right, and you can also add a new password, which is pretty much the basics of the thing. All right, and here it types in. You say uh, you type in the title of it. All right, so I want to type in Macintosh Tips UStream. All right, and it'll say uh, where. All right, I type in you know where it is or whatever, and it'll and I type in the password. All right, so I type in the password randomly. All right, that's definitely not the password. All right, and it'll tell me the strength right here. All right, which is pretty cool. Or I can make it longer. All right. And it'll tell me fantastic. And now when I make it longer, it just gives me default accounts. Now if you want this to be it, you just hit copy. And then boom, you just start pasting it to new things. Very, very cool. And then you got advanced options as digits, like how many numbers you want and symbols and all that good stuff. So very, very cool there. So uh, then you get your palm and your iPhone. Alright, so that's pretty cool. You can do stuff for your iPhone and then for your for your handheld uh Phone. So one password keeps everything in one spot. All right. Now, so let me go ahead and show you how this works. So remember at the beginning of the video, I told you to go ahead and install for your web browser, which is Firefox and Safari. All right. Now I don't know if it does it for Google Chrome. Google Chrome's not even out yet. Now you'll get this little thing here in the top, right beside the bookmark uh, bar. It says one P, which is one password. Now I've already got the YouTube from Macintosh Tips here. Now it. Let's say, uh, let me go ahead and show an example how to set one up. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to go here to myapplespace.com. All right. The link will be in the description box on that side. It's pretty much a social network for Mac users. All right. So I'm going to go to my Apple Space. All right. Why am I getting a beach ball here? All right. So once I'm on. Okay. Now remember I told you that the 1P would be pretty cool. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to go to this website. All right, that you don't have your password saved for. Go ahead and sign in. All right, put in my login here, yahoo.com, and type in the password. All right, now when I hit sign in, 
this thing pops up at the top and it says save this my apple space login and pa one password so i'll name it i'll put it in a folder if i've created it and i'll hit save now if i don't want it to remember this website i just hit never for this website or if i don't want this to pop up i just hit the x button all right and i'll hit save all right and i'll do the master password for the whole application the master password and boom now as I open up one password again it's automatically saved I'm going to show you here as I go to one password now it's saved right here my Apple space alright password my usernames down there everything alright so pretty cool stuff now what if you're on this website and you forgot it because what you do all right, it one password is so cool that it automatically recognizes the website. Go go to one p. It says, "Oh, fill in my Apple space." You hit fill. All right, oh, you go to the sign in. I'm sorry. Go to the sign in option. Hit one p. Go to fill my Apple space, and it'll automatically sign you in. And I can do this for my Facebook account. Here on Facebook, it automatically recognizes it. It says fill Facebook. I click it. And boom, it's done just like that. And now I'm logged into my Facebook. So, like I said, this is a very cool application called One Password. You can download it right now from the description box. It takes all your passwords and puts them in, and usernames, puts them in one little section, tells you the strength of them. It even takes your credit card information, everything, puts it in this one little application, and you always have it. So, this has been Scooter with Magnetosh Tips, and I hope you've enjoyed and learned a little bit. Uh, peace.